one of the things that you guys do really well is your sense of scope. Um, when you guys create a landscape or a setting, often there is just a great sense of scope. Um, and for me personally, I think that's such an impressive thing to put into an image. Um, it also strikes me as really difficult <laughs> to do. Um, so where does, where does that come from? Where does your sense of scope come from? And how do you guys put that into your work? Make big picture, small person. <laughs> yeah. um, there's a formula to this. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, I never I thought know. of scope being, that's kind of very interesting. Thank you. Cause yeah. like, everyone says something a little bit different that you didn't think of like about your work, you know, cause you're used to saying your own stuff all the time, but I never realized that about our work, but I do notice it you know, subconsciously, I guess we do incorporate a lot of that. Um, I know sometimes it could feel like a, like a cheat to just make a background and then just to add like a character. But I think we really in like try to involve like mood and feeling small, I guess, where you're at. Mm -hmm. We were just kind of talking about this. We talk about it sometimes, but like the memories that we have of places we've been to, you know, kind of, um, that either feel like strange or weird. Like when you're little, you have like these kind of, you remember, or at least for us anyway, like these memories of how something felt. Like for us, that was very prominent growing up. I don't know if it's like anxiety or something that made <laughs> things like more impressionable on us. But like, remember feeling like this on a cloudy day, um, you were walking here and something, it, it felt like this, it looked like this. Mm -hmm. So I think we try to capture that a lot in the scope. We definitely have a lot of like memories of how things felt for us, um, especially when we were younger. Um, and uh, we would try to, I guess, trying to capture that somehow, like, cause you feel kind of small, you know, like everything was kind of big around you. You didn't understand it or something. And uh, yeah, I guess it's just primarily based off mood. Yeah, mood. you know. I guess because it's like sometimes if you have like a character more up close or you're focusing on the character, it's like, oh, it's a more, you know, character centric piece. But it's like you want to almost want to feel what's around the character, too. And I think that's kind of how we like to go about our pieces. You know, it's like you can tell the the character is feeling something, but like the mood around it is also like a character. Or I don't know. Maybe it's a little cheesy. To, to I mean, we're not it, but, never yeah. done anything revolutionary. And yeah. there's plenty of people I think who paint in our opinion scope well or better than we do, but maybe we do it differently. You know, like you said, you, you can't, you look at your stuff all the time. You don't really know what's that much different about your work. Um, but uh, yeah, like she said, I, you know, mood and like the surroundings can be like a character in itself. It's like, it, it's not just there to be the placeholder or like just the thing that the character is in. It's just like, bam, I remember feeling like I was out here on a beach on a cloudy day with some sun coming through, you know, something kind of, kind of just a, uh, whatever feeling you want to subscribe to that kind of moment, you know? And um, basically I think a lot of our emotions and how we remember things or when we go out to places really just are more better uh, explained with scope than if it wasn't, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. I mean, <clears throat> it, it, it sounds like, <clears throat> which again, doesn't surprise me. Um, but you guys are in a sense, sort of putting yourselves onto the page, um, sort of bringing, I guess that's what artists do <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> uh, bring sort of yourself and, and, and your lens and, and, and what you, how you see the world. Mm -hmm. We're very emotional people. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs>